So to program your ESC, you will need a programming cable. Now this is a USB to four pin connection. You also have a four pin connection on the ESC. So you're first gonna wanna connect your USB to the computer and then you're going to open up a program called Flyer PCS. This program will be linked in the video description as well as on my website. So you should see the COM port that it's connected to. That would be the USB. And we're going to go ahead and connect now our ESC. Our ESC is now connected and we can go ahead and start programming our ESC. So the very first option is going to be battery with the low voltage cutoff. Here you would choose whether you're using a LiPo or like the space cell, the life battery. Now on the cell count, leave it at auto for it to work best but do change the low voltage cutoff to whatever you prefer here we set it up to 3.5 when we ship the ESC and we also leave it with a hard cutoff the other cutoffs will occur around 50 or 40 percent Some people prefer the slow cutoff, which will start at 50 and then go down to 40, 30, 20 until it cuts off the battery. But here we have the hard cutoff, so you experience full power all the way to the end. Now, once your battery starts getting low, you will experience some voltage sags. That just means the not accelerate as hard as you normally would. Feel free to program these however you like so you can see which cutoff works best for you. But remember, leave the cell count at auto. Anything lower than 3.2 can severely damage your battery. So be careful with that as well. On life or A123 cells, you'll see that the cutoff drops down to 2.5. We will leave it at 2.5 because the nominal voltage on those is less than it is on lipos. For throttle, you can go ahead and change the throttle curve and the acceleration. Here we'll leave it at linear and medium, but some people would like a slower or harder acceleration. And the throttle curve will be dependent on your remote on how well your remote responds to the linear exponential or logarithmical now for reverse we will ship the ESC with reverse on but you can also have reverse off so that your board will never go into reverse and it will just stop all the time whenever you engage the brakes. Reverse off is my favorite setting, but I understand most of you like to have reverse on. For the motor timing, this is more of an advanced setting. 
if you know the ideal or the optimal setting for your motors, go ahead and change them. Here, we leave it at three, which works great on hub motors and on satellite motors. We also have the timing monitor turned on, so the ESC does take care of the timing a bit. For brakes, we have our brakes turned on to 10%. You can move them up to 25 if you would like a stronger brake, but just be careful. I do not recommend any of the higher brake options because they can throw you off your board or damage your motor and belts. So I would say leave it at 10% or try 25. Off will not give you any brakes, which definitely do not click. You also have how long it will take the remote or the ESC to determine whether to engage brakes or go in reverse. Now you can limit your start power if you put it at a hundred percent it will give you a jolt when you accelerate I suggest leave it at auto as the ESC will determine the best start power but you can go ahead and play with this setting so that your board starts as smooth as possible. Now for those of you who want to limit your speed going forward or reverse, you can go ahead and edit that here. If you click other, you can go ahead and change the power percentage on the side but here we have it off so it is a hundred percent I do however put the reverse at 50 percent so if you want to go in reverse at a much higher percentage you can but 50 percent is pretty good now obviously you do not have a helicopter so these settings are irrelevant and then load values will load the factory defaults. Now this is how the ESC came from the factory. So it will not have the optimal settings that we edit with. So please do not load the values, but you can just go ahead and change it back to the settings that I just went through. Now, up here on the program, you will see an option that says ESC firmware updates. You have a list of different ESC firmwares that you can flash on. Do not use this part of the program at all. This, if you flash the incorrect firmware, can break your ESC so you will void your warranty. If for any reason there is an update, I will make a video on how to update which firmware to load exactly. But for now, there has been no updates. So just stay on this tab with the computer setup and change just the low voltage cutoff the the mode your throttle if you want soft medium or hard leave it at linear as that works best with all controllers your reverse you can turn it on or off the motor timing you can just leave it the way it is the brake 
suggested leaving it at 10% and the power you can play with this one as much as you'd like just remember that a hundred percent power will give you a strong jolt at the beginning of your acceleration now once all the settings are in place make sure you go over it one more time so start off with power so I have auto full forward and 50% reverse my brake is at 10 the motor timing is at 3 I have reverse on my throttle is linear and medium and my battery cutoff is at 3.5 with a hard cutoff for lipo batteries you're going to go ahead and right onto the ESC you will get a confirmation saying that the ESC has been written to go ahead and disconnect on your twin motor ESC you have two of the four pin connection because you have two ESC's in here so you're gonna have to program both of the cables so back to the program when you connect your cable onto your ESC make sure that the colors match you'll see the software changes back and it reads whatever was written on there before so I currently had this one set to 3.6 with the hard cutoff throttle again linear medium reverse on motor timing brake at 10% and power at auto with full reverse and full forward I'm gonna go ahead and change this back to 50% and my battery to 3.5 and write that to the ESC again disconnect now you connect the other 4 pin connection it gives you your option that it is connected run through the settings one more time power change it to 50% brake 10 motor reverse throttle and battery 3.5 go ahead and write to the ESC and that's it now your ESC is programmed and ready to ride again I do program these before sending them out and I do check them to make sure that they are all working